Hey guys, Poplar Mechanic here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Notch Rope Runner Pro. Um, I have two ropes set up behind me here. So what we'll be doing is a comparison with the old Rope Runner and the Akimbo and we'll just see how some of the newer devices stack up against each other. Let's go to the bench and take a closer look right now. All right guys, so when you get your uh, Notch Rope Runner Pro, it's going to come in a box that looks like this. Uh, it looks very well put together. You know, you got uh, just a cool design in the box itself, but we won't spend too much time on that. When we get into the inside, you have a nice container. I like to keep all my containers in my office, all the cool boxes. So you got a metal-like container that says Notch on it. Let's open her up. Coming to the first section here, you're going to get the instruction manual, uh, followed by a piece of foam just to protect the device, I guess. Put that aside. Um, and then inside here, you will get your Rope Runner Pro. Looks like it comes with a little Allen key for adjustment. Um, I have seen some posts on Instagram that the Allen key isn't the best, uh, that not really a deal breaker for me. We have lots of Allen keys here in the shop. Looks really nice in there. Really good packaging for this product. All right, so here's the first look at the Rope Runner Pro. Uh, some things I noticed right off the hop is with the old Rope Runner, you could buy the bird flap. This one is, is all rolled, so it's, it's nice and smooth on the fingers right to begin with. Um, this portion of the device here looks different. You can see it's more of like an I-beam shape instead of two pieces. So that's what your back is gonna look like. So that's uh, quite a bit better than the old one already. Uh, another thing I noticed right off the hop is you can see the spring inside of the old device, which works well. I mean, I, I love this device. I, I worked on this rope runner a lot, probably more than I've worked on the Akimbo, uh, and it's been good to me. So we've got, you can see the spring on this one. This one is uh, sealed inside. Uh, looks like it may have a hole for oil, I would assume. Um, and it's got some good spring action as well. So what else is new here? We've got, uh, so these new bollards are stainless steel, so they wear a lot less and they're already like, uh, they're, they're already like concave or convex or whatever you'd say. So they, uh, they give you that broken in feel right away. And I, I these are going to last forever. I mean, the old bollards, they were aluminum. I went through two of them and the ones I got here are pretty worn out. Not too bad. I'd still run them, but you can wear them out fairly quickly. Uh, so you've got the new bollards. Looks like you've got the adjustment here. Um, as far as I know, there's only one adjustment so far on this one. Uh, and there is numbers labeled on the side here, so you can remember your settings for different ropes, but it does still take an Allen key to adjust it, just so you know that. Uh, moving down, looks like we've got the new style stainless steel bollard here with the broken in feel, so we know what that is. And uh, looks like we've got a new tending point here, uh, as opposed to the old one which was this little tiny thing here. This one is made inside the unit. It's much nicer. And the pulley design is different as well. On the bottom of this one, you know, you had to take the carabiner off. You guys know how this works. And then the whole assembly came apart. With this pulley here, um, you can remain attached to your saddle the entire time. And I believe this, you don't have to take any of the slick pins out. Um, it can just hang there so you don't have to lose any parts which is a real nice feature all right guys uh, that pretty much covers that I know I probably missed some things I just don't want to burn too much time going over this uh, that's what it looks like it it's obviously much better than uh, the previous version so what we'll do now is put it on the rope and hang from it and uh, see what's changed all right guys, so now we're gonna place the uh, Rope Runner Pro onto the rope. Keep in mind, this is one of my first times doing this. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. So basically I've just opened up all these, these uh, slick pins here. It's uh, really neat here how this one works. So you, you don't lose any parts, nothing has to come off the rope. Um, and there's also little uh, rope lines here so you know you're putting the rope in the right place, which is nice. So we'll start with the top. <clears throat> so 
So we'll get that top in, which I can already tell feels a little tight. I haven't adjusted it. It starts at the max, but I'll probably have to loosen that off or I will. Okay, moving down to the second part, that just lifts up there. You can close that, push that slick pin in. Uh, now for the pulley part. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, I get, I'm assuming that has to be on that side. And then this pin right here <clears throat> is a little bit annoying at the bottom here. You gotta turn it just right. But once you get it, it's not too bad. I may actually take the Dremel and champ for these edges a little bit on this pin because they are quite sharp and they do catch on the pulley, but minor gripe. All right, and then your attachment point is here on this one. So that pretty much covers uh, putting it on the rope. You can see the top is way too tight. I can barely move it up this rope. So I'll go ahead, make the top adjustment and we'll just hang from it and do a couple slides down and see what it's like. Okay guys, so I've got this uh, adjusted now. Uh, it was way too tight on number one, so I have it just below the number three, which might be too much, I'm not 100% sure. Um, the Allen key that comes with this to loosen this device is absolute garbage, complete trash, throw it out. I literally stripped it, barely even putting any pressure on it, so you may as well just throw that out and grab a proper Allen key to, to save damaging your Allen key in the device. It's just it's utter garbage, complete trash. Anyways, I'm not picking on it, guys. I'm just, it's the God honest truth. It, the thing is useless. Okay, so now that we've got it adjusted, let's uh, clip into the saddle here and just see how it works. I just gotta grab a carabiner here. Okay, guys, so I've got a carabiner. I've got it on the device. Um, this tending point is located in a great area. You know, it's just gonna tend this thing perfectly. I already know how that's gonna work. I think you guys do too. Just goes up the rope, no problem at all. Um, it tends beautifully, you know, you're out working, it, you need to come back in, it just works really nice. Um, another tip I got from the old rope runners, you'll notice I have these slick pins in this way and they generally go that way. This one I put the other way and the reason for that is because I'm right handed and not all the time but most of the time I use my right hand to uh, make the fine adjustments and this will just prevent this slick pin from digging into your palm all the time. You can put your finger around it, which has worked for me in the past, but I just prefer it uh, not be there at all. So that's pretty much it. It's, it's a lot like the old one, just better in pretty much every way. Tends beautifully. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna, I'm gonna go up to the ceiling and then we'll bomb down and just kind of see how it does in, in uh, a little bit longer runs here. Alrighty, so it's got me in a hang here. Let's see how she can bomb down. Beauty. So it's very smooth and very easy to control. I only need to bomb down once to tell you that. Uh, it is quite similar to the old one. It seems a bit smoother. Uh, it does have that already broken in feeling. So far, I quite like it. So let's get the other rope runner on there and uh, check out some of the differences. All right, guys, so I just wanted to give you a side-by-side -side view of the old rope runner and the new one. Um, the new one is better in every way from what I can see so far from the tending point to the stainless steel Just the design in general. So it's definitely a better device. Uh, one thing I did want to note though is This rope the old rope runner sits a little closer to your hand on you If you don't have an adjustable bridge if you do just adjust it It's not a huge deal for me. This would be fine. I have long arms um, And I do kind of like the device sitting a little bit further away sometimes so it's not a huge deal, but it just, this sits a little further away because of the new attachment point. Uh, the next thing that comes to mind, I just wanna see if they did fix that three to one. Now, you know, if you put your hand ascender up and you wanna use three to one for whatever reason, uh, it, it collapses this old device. I'm just curious to see if they addressed it or not. I don't know. Um, for me personally, it doesn't matter. I rarely use three to one. Uh, I would say almost never. So. Uh, but for guys that do, I thought I'd check this out. So let's take a look right now. All right, guys, so I have the three to one set up. I'm just using a hand ascender here and a pulley and a carabiner, no big deal. 
Here I am set up in the three to one position. Let's see what it does. Yeah, so, so that issue hasn't been addressed. So if you let go, I mean, if you let go quick, wow, is that smooth. But you see what happens there? When you pull up, if you don't, you have to just drop it. See, for it to catch. Because if you pull, it'll, it'll still slide down. But wow, that pulley's really nice in there. No, I just wanted to check. Probably not a recommended setup with this, but it, it will work if you had to use it. Um, I just wanted to see if they address that or not. It appears that it's not really designed to work that way. All right, guys, so I'm pretty much gonna wrap up my first impressions of the Rope Runner Pro. Like I said, it's hard for me to say too much more about it until I get to use it in the canopies of the tree and then I'll have more information. And when I do, I will do a full review on it. Uh, I just, before we close, I just wanted to show you the uh, size comparison between the Akimbo and the Rope Runner Pro. You can see the uh, Akimbo sits about half the size on the rope, which can be nice. Um, for me, it's not a huge deal breaker. It's just, you know, in situations, it does help to have a small device so you're not bending it around limbs if you have to redirect and things like that. So I just thought I'd show that. Um, I'm definitely going to give the Rope Runner Pro a try. I'm going to use it. Uh, it's very smooth. It's a lot better than the old one. Uh, and that's all I can say just from looking at it so far, but time will tell. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.